hopefully uh, all the feathers and guts left behind will draw in some predators. Yeah, and if a Martin happened to come around this so he ain't gonna leave it very quick, so and dear, I got the trap there uh, ready for him. Well guys, this is uh, the place where I picked that uh, goose. I had him lodged around that fallen stick right there, and that's the, that's the wing right there, and feathers all over the place. You know, when I picked the goose, you know, there was, uh, it was good scent getting out through the woods, and these feathers makes a good visual attractant, so if anything comes handy, or other animals might come here and, and dry in even more animals. Kind of like this Merton. <laughs> that worked out perfect, see? That was super. Picked that goose here, and and just like that, I got a, a Merton catch here. And, uh, you know, because this area is slow for Merton, this particular line, uh, I'm out today. I'm not going to haul very many today. The wife is away I'm meeting, so I got to get back early. But, uh, but anyway, that is a fantastic start, no doubt. <laughs> Look at that. Wicked. And... You never know, we might even get another one here yet, so fingers crossed. It's gonna be the, the last uh, trap for the day. Uh, just a, a quick day out, I never hauled many traps, and I, I figured I'd just show that catch. I call that pretty cool, you know. Uh, you know this line been pretty slow, and to get one here kind of quick just after picking that goose there, uh, I tell you, that put a smile on my face. <laughs> so anyway, just a quick uh, day out, and uh, tomorrow I'm gonna haul another little few like that. And then the next thing, we'll have a long day. So uh, anyway, I really appreciate y'all watching. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you all on the next one. Take care and all the best from the Big Land Trapper. Look at that. Soon be talking some rabbit snares here, too.